Hi everyone, this is Safa. It's good to see you all again. So after doing the Ursula video, I was thinking why don't I do Vanessa as well. So Vanessa is actually the human form of Ursula. This is the look when she's trying to pretend to be Ariel and use Ariel voice to trick Eric. And for this video, I'm really glad and happy that I can work with Joanne, one of my favorite artists. So don't forget to follow her on Instagram and her TikTok for more videos. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the bare face. So after applying this primer and then I'm going to use this new seamless finish liquid foundation from Hourglass. Um, this is slightly more yellow than my own skin tone. It's okay because this is a PR product, I don't actually have a choice. And then I'm going to use my recent favorite airbrush concealer from them. Using this more orange tone underneath my eyes as it can help correcting the bluish and brownish tone. And then I'm going to use form, a lighter shade to highlight my face. going to set my face with Kat Von D loose powder. Time for brows. I've learned the lesson from my last Ursula videos. I'm going to draw my brows as soon as I finish my foundation. It's so important to have brows. I look so much better already. And for this eye makeup look, I'm going to use the Morphe eyeshadow palette, which is the Jacqueline Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette and all these new brushes from Morphe. This is actually my first time using their brushes and their eyeshadow palette. So first of all, I'm going to use this M135 eyeshadow brushes, a dome shaped brush using this orange color to set a base as this eye makeup look. Using the M200 blending brush, I'm going to blend out the eyeshadow I've just done and add a little bit of this yellowish tone to help blend it out. Adding this matte brown with the M321 brush, focusing on the outer corner and create a depth of my eyes. Use any concealer of your own choice and also a flat brush to cough out the new crease line. And then I'm going to use this two shimmery eyeshadow on top of the concealer we have just created. Using the M321 brush and also a matte brown to darken the outer V again. Further darken your outer corner with a darker shade. Blend everything out with this color Agent. Using the liquid eyeliner in brown. I'm going to draw on a cat liner. Then feel free to apply any thick lashes and also eyelid tape if you need one. Using this matte white color to highlight your brow bones, you can always blend it down a bit to prevent harsh line. Using this smaller brush M225 with the same shimmery gold color underneath your eyes. Darken your outer corner with a darker orange and brown shade. And using this E36, this is actually my favorite brush and also this shimmery white eyeshadow to highlight the inner corner of our eyes. This eyeshadow is really surprising. It's really bright and you just need a tiny bit of it and you can have this effect. And this is our finished eye makeup look. <music> and 
and it's time to contour my face. Uh, I have been using this contouring palette for a really long time because I still can't find any substitute which can do a better job than this palette. They have different shades so it can match any kind of makeup you like to do that day. And for blush, I'm going to use this Fetish Highlight and Blush Palette from Kat Von D. Mixing the purple and orange shade to create this cartoony blush look. Using the purple highlighter because I would like to have some sort of Ursula element inside this makeup look. So this highlighter is actually not bad, but now we are talking. And don't forget to contour your nose because all the cartoon characters have the most pointy nose on earth. And I can use my favorite inner corner highlighter again on my nose bridge. And final step for my lips, I'm going to use the Fampria lipstick from Cafon D again. So this lipstick is very interesting. When you are just blending it out using a little bit of it, it can actually create a total different effect on your lips. So I'm going to use the blending out method in order to achieve the plummy pinkish lips. And after you finish blending it, just add a tiny bit of gloss and then this is the final look. Pop on your wig and props and then you will be Vanessa. Um, I really enjoyed this video and I think for this makeup look you can even use it on daily basis if you are into makeup. So hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Bye!